Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Well, did you feel that earthquake late last night? Off the coast of Oregon, a magnitude 6.0 earthquake occurred along the Blanco Fracture Zone. At um, 7.25 p.m. local time, a lot of people said they did feel it and sent in reports to USGS Did You Feel It website. There was one aftershock that USGS is reporting, a magnitude 3.1. This earthquake was about 183 miles off the coast of Bandon, Oregon. 118 people sent in reports to USGS Did You Feel It website. Intensity level 4. Here's the felt reports. We got some... Oh, as far south, it looks like, as Arcadia, California. And then as far north, oh, up to the border. Well, we got Seattle. And I don't know what's this one here. Victoria, Canada. Yeah, it was felt over a very wide area. Well, probably because it was so shallow. Yeah, shallower earthquakes are felt over a larger area. Let's see, intensity level four might have been from, yep, Eugene, Eugene, Oregon, and Port Orford. Here we have an image of the compression wave going across the United States, and I'll play it. I noticed that a lot of energy was going down there to the uh, uh, Gulf of... Um, uh, California here. Um, there was an earthquake there that I talked about, the San Andreas Fault Zone, and how um, there was a possibility for the Salton Sea for earthquakes. Yeah, this area here. Yeah, let me play it again for you, and you'll see what I'm saying. Yeah, see how it traveled down, you know, along, um, yeah, the San Andreas Fault, and then all the way across to the east coast of the U.S. I haven't had a chance to check the New Madrid um, seismic zone, but that would be another area that I'm going to have to check. It's still early. I'm working on my first cup of coffee. Yeah. Yes. Um, disappointingly, no one sent in reports to USGS Did You Feel It website. I wish they would have because um, I would like to know what you guys experienced there off the coast of Oregon. Yeah. Yeah, it continued rattling down here. Now the Blanco Fracture Zone off the coast of California continues down here to uh, the Cascadia Subduction Zone. So yeah, looking how the uh, compressional wave moved in this location. Yeah, I'm a little concerned. And we're going to have to keep an eye on that at least for a month. You know, any earthquake does have a chance for being a foreshock for something much larger. There was no uh, tsunami warning, but let me show you. There is one boy that is going off right there. Let me click on it and we'll see what is going on with that boy. Okay, water column height. And you can see there was a little disturbance. Um, uh, GMT time um, around 329. So there wasn't any threat of a, a tsunami, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. Did you feel these earthquakes? And yeah, there was two, the 6.0 and then the, uh, the 3.2, I believe it was. Yeah, and it was felt all the way down there in California. Yeah, amazing. Um, I would like to know how long did it last? Uh, what did the motion feel like? Um, did you have any indication prior to the earthquake that it was coming? So it looks like 406 miles uh, to the east was probably the farthest that it was felt. I mean, let's see. I know it was felt up here by the border. What was this? What was the distance? 653 kilometers. So that would be about 405 miles. So if I lived down there in Southern California, I would be on alert because of a compressional wave that traveled down there. 
um, Baja, California. I reported that earthquake, uh, Mexicali, that happened yesterday. Anyways, that's all I have for you right now. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all.